Welcome back. Tonight, I'm obsessed with this administration's apparent inability or refusal to tell the truth the first time they're asked. All presidents and all administrations shade and shape the truth to their own advantage. But what we're seeing now is of a different order of magnitude. And today's grudging acknowledgement that President Trump did help draft his son's statement about his meeting with a group of Russians after denying exactly that is just the latest example of this administration's taste, shall we say, for fake news. The following statements are simply from recent appearances on the Sunday version of Meet the Press. Can you tell me about the reports that the president was involved in the initial response that Donald Trump Jr. gave the New York Times? So I read those reports as well, and the president was not, did not draft the response. The response and, and was, came from Donald Trump Jr. But I notice you ducked the aspect of whether you can guarantee that nobody will be worse off financially. Well, I, I, I firmly believe that, that, that nobody will be worse off financially in, this, in the process that we're going through, understanding that they'll have choices that they can select the kind of coverage that they want for themselves and for their family. I have talked to General Flynn. None of that uh, came up. Uh, the, none, the subject matter of uh, sanctions or the actions taken by the Obama administration did not come up in the conversation. So there was no challenge of American policy currently? by Mr. Flynn with the Russian None. ambassador. Like, Answer the question of why the president asked the White House press secretary to come out in front of the podium for the first time and utter a falsehood. Why did he do that? It undermines the credibility of the entire White House press office no, on doesn't. day don't one. Be so, don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. Look, in these and other cases, what the administration said ended up being demonstrably wrong. Not a shade of it, not a way to spin it. It just was flat out wrong. Now, did the people say what they believed to be true at the time? Did they mislead unintentionally? Did they mislead intentionally? Was it a lie? Was it that kind of motivation? The fact is, we don't know that, but at this point, they've accumulated a ton of instances where it appears they owe us at least that explanation in that front. It's a reminder of why young journalists are taught the following. If your mother says she loves you, go get a second source. We'll be right back. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.